farming in a dry climate can be extremely challenging. In the past, Qatar's agriculture industry faced various difficulties, with a dry climate and lack of water for irrigation being the main ones. This significantly constrained Qatar's economic growth, which was mostly dependent on resource exploitation and pearl fishing. So how did Qatar overcome these challenges? And become the most food secure country in the Arab world? And what are the cutting edge technologies used in Qatar's farming industry? In June 2017, Qatar was in the middle of a diplomatic crisis, when its neighbors Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, and Egypt severed diplomatic relations and imposed economic sanctions on Qatar. Immediately after the Saudi-led coalition cut direct flights, sea links, and cross-border trade with Qatar, people swarmed grocery stores leaving empty shelves. And the country plunged into a food shortage crisis since 80% of Qatar's food requirements come from Persian Gulf Arab neighbors, with only 1% being produced domestically. This situation was a wake-up call for the Qatari government to start a new era and become food self-sufficient. A big dream for a country with an average of 75 millimeters of rainfall a year, and a distinct lack of farmland. The total surface area of Qatar, which includes a number of minor islands, is only about 11,628 square kilometers. It is around the same size as Rhode Island in the United States. This means there is less available land for agriculture. Qatar's climate is characterized by low rainfall, high temperature, and high humidity. Despite these challenges, the nation has achieved great advances in recent years, by using sustainable and intelligent agriculture practices including aquaponics, smart irrigation, and vertical farming with LED lighting, to improve land use efficiency and the quality of fruits and vegetables, which aim to enhance food security in the country. Modern greenhouse farms, equipped with hydroponics and aquaponics systems, are becoming more popular among Qatari farmers. With their new plan, the country has set out to build 3,000 modern, smart and sustainable farm covering 45,000 acres of land that allow all year-round crop production to meet 70% of the country's domestic demands. Qatar has made significant progress in the food security issue thanks to sustainable investments in infrastructure and food security policies. According to the Global Food Security Index, Qatar is now ranked number one in the Arab world and 24th globally. One of Qatar's most advanced farming technologies is a combination of aquaculture and hydroponics, or aquaponics, where bacteria turn fish waste into nutrients for the plants, and the plants clean the water that goes back to fish tanks. In 2021, Qatar launched its national agricultural project. Through an aquaponic system, this project called Agrico is expected to produce 32,000 tons per year of various vegetables. The fish farming industry gets also its fair share of the government's attention. In 2019, Qatar launched the first floating cage fish farming project in the region. Called Samakna, this initiative is set to provide more than 3,000 metric tons of fish as part of the country's policy to increase food self-sufficiency. The fish farm has 16 floating cages and is located 50 kilometers off the Qatari coast, northeast of Ruiz, with a total area of 220 acres. Qatar's farming industry is an excellent example of how advanced technologies can overcome all kinds of climate and technical challenges. Five years ago, Qatar relied almost exclusively on importation to meet its food requirements, but today is ranked number one in the Arab world in the 2021 Global Food Security Index.